We're here for the premiere of 19 Willow Place, a feature horror film, also with the number one soundtrack by Zoe called Town. We're going to capture all the red carpet action and speak with the man himself. So let's go and see how this film is going to turn out. So thank you for speaking with me. If you could just introduce your name to everyone and your role within 19 Willow Place. Yeah, my name's John McQuiston and I play Alan in 19 Willock Place, yeah. All right, so can you tell us about the whole casting process, how you come to work with creative entertainment? Yeah, it was, it was quite a strange um, experience, actually, because I had seen the, the casting online and I put myself forward for it and uh, I didn't hear anything for quite a while. Ooh. And I was away on holiday, uh, just up, in, up north in Scotland, and uh, I was on the golf course and my phone went... <laughs> It's typical Scottish. <laughs> we on holiday in yeah. Scotland and on yeah. the golf course. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was uh, Sherry. And she'd asked me if I would be interested in playing the role. And I said, yeah. And uh, of course, I was still on holiday at the time. So she wanted to meet up. And when I come back from a holiday, we met up. And um, it just we just went from there, really. Um, so I met the rest of the cast and we started filming. And it was great. So shooting horror films, um, can you tell us a bit about um, like what it was it like on set and working with Justice? Yeah, it was again. It was a kind of it was a really uh, unique experience, I would say, because it was such a skeleton crew. Uh, because we had Etienne uh, and CJ uh, Justice uh, on camera and sound, so everyone was doing their own part in it. Um, so everyone was getting really heavily involved. Not only in the technical side of it, but in the the support side. You know, where it was uh, set decoration, uh, continuity, um, script editing, and stuff like that. So everybody, everyone had a role to play in it, as well as being actors. Which was really quite unique. So it was, and it was a, it was a really nice experience, and it became almost like a family. You know, we were always in the one location in the house, apart from that. And then we started to move away from that. But yeah. for the first week or so, or two weeks of filming, it was in the house, and it was it was just like a big family sitting down to lunch every day, <laughs> and it was brilliant. Yeah. yeah. It's like that when you're working on an intimate set. So yeah. what's your hopes for this film? Obviously, working with Africa and Scotland coming together. Yeah. Uh, what, how do you think people are going to receive this film? Uh, well, I'm, I'm hoping everybody's going to really enjoy it as much as you can enjoy a horror film. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, enjoy. yeah, and I hope, my big hope for it is that it, it gets to the stage where someone will pick it up and give it some distribution. Uh, I think there's been far too much work put into this, uh, by CJ and Etienne, Sherry, uh, Nick, They've all put so much, the heart and soul into this thing that it really deserves. It's, it's been on the go for so long now, you know, I mean, it's eight, nine months in the making. And it's the number one um, soundtrack as well? The number, Zoe's number one soundtrack is just, uh, if you don't love that, there's something wrong with you, <laughs> really. But um, no, the, the big hope is that it gets a distribution deal somewhere. And, uh, oh, thank you so much, congratulations, and let's welcome. hope it goes further than this, obviously. Cheers, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Take my advice, when the dead steer, don't steer back. Finish what you started! Ah!